Hello everyone Johnny here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video, it's been a minute since you lot have asked me some questions and I've answered them so I thought, you know what, let's bring you a QA. and a If you're new around here, smash that big red subscribe button, it's right down there. And also, smash the like button, let's see if we can hit 30,000 likes for this Q&A. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Right, so I asked you lot over my Instagram, yeah, if you don't follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram, it's right there. Yeah, I asked you lot on my Instagram to ask me questions for this video, and uh, yeah, basically I'm going to be answering them. Any tips on writing music? Right, tips on writing music. Do you know one tip that Michael, Michael Hammond gave me, and ever since then I feel like, I personally feel like I've improved in music a lot, and that is don't write to a beat. Get a rhythm first, innit? So like, just do like a scat, so like, Put on a beat, for example. Now, for example, the way I wrote Waves was I'll just put on a beat. Let me, let me show you, let me show you. So, for example, with Waves, what I did and what I do with all my songs is I'll play the beat and then I'll just put my headphones on, close my eyes, and just come up with like random melodies, what sounds good. Because it's more important to get a good flow rather than just good lyrics. So, then I'll just play the beat and I'll be like, like something like that innit and then as I'm flowing I'll come up with certain lyrics like that will hit here and there like for example mad at ya and then I'll think oh what can go around that so yeah I don't actually listen to beat and write to it it's more I'll get a flow for the whole entire tune and then go from there you tried snooze yes it's f***ing jank oh my god you boys that do snooze yet what is wrong with you? Well, actually, what is wrong with you? Maybe it's because I don't smoke fags. I've never smoked a fag in my life, yeah? Don't see the, the point. I don't see the appeal. I wasn't one of them year eights to fool. I want to smoke a fag to think I'm hard. Like, no, it's never been me. I've never been peer pressured, innit? I'm guessing it doesn't hit people like it hit me, but I was with, I think I was with Michael, yeah? He was at the studio, and he was doing snus. And don't know what is like, I'm pretty sure it's just like, it's backy, innit? It's just, it's just tobacco, but you put in your gums. And it just, it's, it's meant, in my room and I, he was like do you want to try some I was like go on then like what's it like he was like oh it's just like a head rush innit I was like f it go on then put some in it was in some Siberian one apparently it was like a bare strong one put it in my mouth I'm not even joking yeah I felt sick it didn't even give me a head rush I just felt so sick for like half an hour but it like a bit <coughs> the thought that was a bit Ill. it made me feel like I've been punched by fucking Mike Tyson been dazed yeah, and just feel bare sick for so long. I was just spitting in the bin for ages. I was thinking, oh mate, how the f do people enjoy this? So, yeah, tried it once, never again. It's, it is disgusting. It is vile and it tastes, it burns your f***ing gums. Yeah, ain't for me. Do you invest in crypto? Yes, uh, well, I wouldn't say I invest in crypto, but I got a couple quid in crypto. Um, <laughs> but I don't have a clue about it, it's more just, oh, my pals are doing it, oh yeah, so I invest in that, yeah, right, then I'll chuck some dough in that. It's more like that rather than I actually watch the market and like, all that stuff. To be fair, I should get into it, but um, yeah, I just haven't got the patience to get into it in a minute, I just, just can't be bothered really. If you could collab with any artist, who would it be? Probably just say Young Ads, just because he's the f***ing goat, like, that's my favourite UK artist, so, yeah. Ads. What's your favourite fit chilling and going out? People want to know. My favourite fit chilling is probably my pyjamas. <laughs> I can't lie, I, I cotch in pyjamas, look. See, look, these, my sister every year for Christmas, grabs me a pair of pyjamas. These, just a pair of Primark pyjamas. Yeah, just cotching these and a pair of sliders, that'll do me justice, literally. As soon as I get in, as soon as I get in, I work from home. I mean, <laughs> if it's like evening and I just had a shower and I'm trying to chill, I just whack these on there. Oh, that's so comfy, but yeah, I'm just coaching them. Do you want the vaccine? Not gonna lie, I'm not really bothered. Like, my mum and dad have had it. Uh, I ain't really bothered to be fair. I'll, I'll, I'll get it if I need to get it, but I'm not gonna step forward to get it. Um, I think it's all bollocks. Everyone thinking, oh, they're putting chips in you and all that shit. Like, nah, the reason we're only coming out of this pandemic is because of the vaccine. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like everyone's got, always gonna have a conspiracy theory. Always. It's like, yeah, of course the government are corrupt and there's always going to be things that we don't know about but think about it, this time last year everyone was saying 5G towers gave you corona and it was run by the government. Where's that theory gone? Why is that not substantial anymore? So you think the vaccine theory is now a thing? It's like, do you know what I mean? In a year's time, vaccine theory won't be a thing it'll now be something else. It's like, oh, someone's always got to find a way to think, no, that can't be legit. So, I think the vaccine's calm but 
Um, yeah, I'll just get one if I need to go on holiday, I think. <laughs> what are some of your favourite childhood memories? I have a good childhood memory, yeah, when um, I was like going to get ice cream from this ice cream truck outside my house. Like, the ice cream man, he's bare nice. Some old geese in it used to let me into the ice cream van. He used to give me like bare free ice cream in it if I just used to do this little game with him where he'd put a blindfold on me and then um, like maybe open my mouth and he'd put something in my mouth and he'd say, oh, what flavour is this ice cream? And most times it tastes a bit like fish, but um, yeah, there was some good. Good memories. <laughs> favourite artist right now? Uh, UK, I'm gonna say D Block Europe. I think my favourite American artist, Bar Drake, I know he's a Canadian, but Bar Drake, because he's just always gonna be one of my favourite for me, is Polo G. Polo G is fing sick, man. I've been fing with him for a minute now. Arse or tits? Now, the reason I'm answering this question is because my whole thing has actually changed. Like, I'm not even joking, I didn't even used to be interested in bottles. Now I am, proper. Like, I used to be a boob man and now it's completely changed. Maybe it's just because the way the world's going and like, everyone's getting nice asses now. Or, I don't know, maybe my just my type's changing and my opinion's changing and shit. Um, but I, I think I'll say bum now, I can't lie. But at the same time, I feel like I do like boobs, like C cup is smallest. But I don't like big tits either, double D biggest, so yeah, but you, you gotta have some. I can't have bigger tits than you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just split up with my girlfriend of two years, bro. Any advice on moving on and not losing focus? Right, it's a bit of a serious one. Um, so as you lot know, I went through a breakup last June or something like that. My best bit of advice for you is talk to your pals, talk to your mates, talk to people that actually are gonna understand you and, and listen to you in it. Don't obviously talk to your whole friendship group about it because there's no, it's, your friend, your whole venture group ain't gonna be that close with you, innit? Um, I kind of went about it in the wrong way at first. I tried to deal with it myself because I don't like being a burden to people. I know, I give advice out and I don't take it myself, but um, I was in a dark place for like a good two months and I just tried to ride it out myself. Like, I just tried to ride it out myself, but I tried not to lose habits. So like, you'll notice in June last year, I was still uploading, even though I was f***ing hating it. Like, I was hating it. I was still uploading because I thought, no, I can't slack on YouTube. I can't let things sit. I think I was still going to the gym. The gym was open, I can't remember, but I was trying not to lose my habits because I feel like if I was just to sit in my room, close up the blinds and, and yeah, I'd go a bit insane. And I did go a bit insane anyway, because I didn't really talk to anyone. I was just in my thoughts for like a good two months. And then it got to the point where about a month in, I was thinking like, I'm, I'm deteriorating. Like my mental health is like what is going on? Like I already suffer with mental health anyway. I've got OCD, intrusive thoughts, anxiety, and all that bollocks. So my mental health was in a bad, bad way, and I was in a really dark place. And then I thought, like, I, I, I'm worried for myself, innit? I'm worried for myself. Um, and the best thing I ever did was I bailed up one of my close mates, went on the phone to him, not gonna lie to you, and just broke down and bawled my eyes out and just explained how I was feeling. That just so I was worried about myself. But I'm like, I'm in a bad way, blah blah blah. And obviously they're checking up on me and that. Start talking to people about it and that. And um, yeah, just you just gotta ride it out, bruv, honestly. That's the best advice I can say to you is just ride it out. If the relationship's done and done, don't be chasing it. Like, leave it, dead it there. Like, unfollow them on everything. Like, don't, don't, you're only gonna talk to yourself, do you know what I mean? You just gotta be strong for yourself. But yeah, you'll get over it. I never, I never, ever, ever thought I'd get over my ex. No way. I was about four years, lived, lived with me for three and a half years, but. I'm sweet as a nut now, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, you do get over it, and life does go on. Happy or sad, your life's gonna go on, so you might as well try and be happy, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, just the best advice, just ride it out. Don't don't turn to anything, like don't stop doing any drugs, don't over drink or nothing like that. It's gonna be painful, but just ride it out. Just, that's all I can say, it's just what you gotta do. This next question's a coincidence, isn't it? Are you looking for a new relationship anytime soon? No, I am fucking not. I am done with relationships for a good long time. For a long time, yeah, I, I am, I'm done with relationships till I'm like 28. Like, even if I felt like I was chatting to a bird now and I started catching feelings, I'd push her away. Like, there's no chance. Like, I just couldn't do it. Like, f that. Like, I've, I've just been through a fucking four year relationship. Like, I don't need to be in another one, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just out here, innit? Like, I'm just single at the minute, just doing my thing. So, <laughs> yeah, relationships for the minute. I'm just, uh, I've never experienced being single really because I got my ex when I was just turned 18. So, as an adult, it's my first time being single and I love it. I love the freedom. I love, yeah, it's all new to me, innit? So, 
yeah, I'm in no rush to settle down anytime soon, believe me. Were you rich when you were young? No, not really, no, not, no, I don't know how I say not really, no, I wasn't at all. We're not poor, my fam me and my mum and dad, like, they, they do, like, they, they always done well for me and my brother. We're not poor, but I wouldn't say we're rich, like, no way, do you know what I mean? We just, yeah, we, we, uh, we, no, I wouldn't say we get by, but we're a bit better, bit better than getting by. But yeah, we don't, we just live in like a f***ing what, like three bedroom house. It's nothing special, but yeah, I'm not gonna sit and say we're poor and cry about it, because we're not. But um, yeah, no, I would never say I was rich. Hideout is happening in September, are you gonna be there? I wanna be there, but none of my pals are on it. So, nah, I ain't gonna be there, that's why I roll out there on my ones. <laughs> are you and Olivia still friends? If you didn't know Olivia is my ex, um, nah, we're not, to be honest. Um, not on bad terms, innit? But I just, we just don't speak, like, don't see the need. Why would I wanna speak? to my ex, <laughs> but it's simple, yeah. I think it's weird if you're part of your ex, to be honest. Best pickup line. What do you mean best pickup line? See, uh, let me give you a bit of advice, boys. I'm not some f sex guru or nothing. I ain't even saying I'm the best looking geezer out there and I can chirps any bird. That's not what I'm saying, but boys, stop using pickup lines. They do not work. Every girl I've spoke to, yeah, I've always asked that question, like, oh, <laughs> that the pickup lines actually work, and every girl I've spoke to said no. Why is a cheesy pickup line gonna work? For one, yeah, it's just cringe, and two, they're gonna read that, and they're gonna just analyze your personality as, oh, yeah, no, you're a bit of a f***ing neek. Unless you're actually like that, then cool, but I don't know, for me, pickup lines that like, are you from Tennessee, because you're the only 10 I see, it's like, oh, mate, just got, well, if you're gonna DM a bird, just say something like you're right or something, like, or a little compliment. You don't need to say some cringy pickup line. I don't know, I don't know. Girls, I know I've got some girl followers. Has a pickup line ever worked on you, or does it just make you curl up? Yeah, I don't know, I, I could never see it working, to be honest. Let me know, boys, if you've actually used a pickup line that works. So I'd like to know that. Where do you go for studio? Well, I used to go to Pirate. It's just some studios where you can just, like, basically rent a studio for, like, a couple hours, and they just give you a pin code and that. It's calm if you want to go there. But now, my studio is actually in the bedroom. Right there, look, let me see how this show you. Yeah, got the mic here. We then got whatever the f this is called, you plug it into there. And um, headphones. And yeah, that's basically, that's basically, I record all my stuff from in, the, in my bedroom. Waves was recorded right here, so, and that quality was sick. And then um, I record it using Logic. And then, yeah, when the project's done, I'll just send it over to the producer to mix and master it, and boom. This is a lot easier and a lot cheaper than going to paying for a studio, innit? So, is your dad actually like the skits? Yes. He's exactly like the skits. Where do you think I get the character from? Oh, mate. I mean, obviously, I play onto it a little bit, but yeah, all my family live in Labrador Grove and not in Hill and that. Um, I used to live in Labrador Grove, but um, my mum and dad moved me further out west uh, when I was like four years old, um, just because it's safer and it's a nicer area. And it's just, yeah, they just done it for my upbringing, my and my brother's upbringing. But yeah, all my family are from Grove, not in Hill, all around that way. So yeah, he grew up all day his life, so he's a fucking proper cockney, miserable bastard. <laughs> That's what he is. And yeah, he's like that, like, he used to, I remember, I could tell so many stories about my old man. The man's infuriating, I swear to God, I love him to bits, isn't it? He's, a, he's hilarious, he's a funny geezer, but oh, mate, <sighs> me and my brother and I'll have some rows with him. Oh, he's, oh, mate, I remember on like Saturdays, if it was on a Saturday, 10 o'clock, nah, you're not allowed to lay in bed, and open the bedroom door, he doesn't do it anymore to be fair, but when we were younger, we used to open the bedroom door, we used to share a room, we used to bang the door against the bed frame, ah, 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 ah. We're like, Dad, it's a Saturday, what are you doing? I don't give a f Do you think my dad would let me lay in bed all day? It's disgusting, get you out of bed, go on, get out of bed. Putting the covers off and that, it's like, I allow it, man, I just want to have a lay in. Like, get out of bed, get out of bed. Oh, yeah, you just have to get out of bed, otherwise you're gonna get a Yeah. <laughs> But, <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the skits are basically based off him, innit? He's just old school, innit? He's a chap. Why don't you film with your real life mates? I get this question a lot. Because they all work. <laughs> like, they, they, they're all just normal people. Like, they don't, they don't do stuff like I do. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm 22, remember? My friends and people are around my age. They all work. Like, they all work from Monday to Friday. And on the weekends, they go out. Like, I'm not gonna take them out of their job to film with them. Do you know what I mean? Most of the time, they're busy. Not really a question, but a wardrobe outfit vid would slap. I get this question a lot. I used to get this question, I've been getting this question for years. Do a wardrobe tour, show me what clothes you got. Do a wardrobe tour, all this shit. But I've never ever done it, because I always think, oh, it's gonna come across like I'm, I'm rubbing it in people's faces and I've got some huge ego. Like, I don't want people to think like that. But, nowadays, we're in 2021, 
stunting's like normal now. Like, yeah, it's nothing new to, to stunt. And not that I'm stunting, but yeah, I don't think it comes across like I got a big ego if I was to show you. So I think now's the time where I'm finally gonna show you lot what's in Johnny Carey's wardrobe. Right, so I'm gonna start off with the most common wardrobe that I use, yeah, which has got most of my designer shit in it. So we've got that's it, Jim Vinci Star Neck. A little Montclair one. Arnie, little Arnie set, if you know about Arnie Co, yeah. Been rocking these from time. They're an Instagram brand, but they're sick quality, they're, they're nice. Got a D squared top, don't really wear that because the collar just bare loose. Um, little Montclair Frollo, Kenzo top, okay. another little Arnie piece. I love a tracksuit, she got a union tracksuit. I got gifted this. I don't even think they're selling them anymore, to be fair, so I'm not going to go and advise you to buy some because I don't have to sell them. But um, yeah, that. Then this is one of my favourite t shirts. It's a little new one I got. Javinci Monkey Brothers. This is cold. I think it's definitely my favourite top at the minute. This is hard. We've got a little Prada polo, Prada t shirt, another Union tracksuit, another Union tracksuit, Kenzo, Kenzo, D squared, just a plain D squared top in it. Just yeah, just D squared as well. This ain't worn in years, come with the guys and stop. Another Javinci t shirt. I like the Javinci t shirts, they're hard. Javinci t shirt. We then got the black version of the white one that I had over there. So I've got black and the white. I've got an icon t shirt, but I don't wear that anymore because the collar looks weird. Uh, Come with a Garcons t shirt. Another Union tracksuit. And then a jumper that I bang out, you've probably seen it a couple of times in pictures or videos on my story. And that's the Fendi jumper. This is definitely the hardest jumper. The cashmere, lovely and soft. It's banging. Up here, it's just like, I don't know, I'm not really neat. It's just a cut, that's a Benjar tracksuit. A couple things. Um, here, it's just, this is shorts to an Arnie set. So I like, I like, I got a couple Arnie two pieces, just like, maybe like nice shorts, just smart. Not really a logo in it, it's really shorts and, I don't even know where the t-shirt is. Arnie shorts, and Arnie's a hard band, man. So this ain't even sponsored, Arnie's just sick. Some manic cargo pants, and then these are all just shorts to, to Arnie stuff, and then just some chino shorts and that. And then, got two pairs of jeans. Got, they're both just DSQ. Got a black pair. And a blue pair. I've got two pairs of jeans, I don't really need the only other pairs of jeans, I mean, I need blue and black. Over here, swimming trunks. I like a bright colored swimming trunk. So most of, most of them are just Ralph. These are all Ralph. Uh, got Fendi ones there. These are, these are hard Ralph ones. These are banging. Um, and then these two, bangers as well, these are Vibe looking. I don't think they sell these ones anymore. But, in here it's just tracksuits and that. Like, I, I like a tracksuit, I'm a tracksuit boy. I like fucking chilling in tracksuits. Like, I don't really wear jeans that much. So we've got the Ralph tracksuit. If you've noticed the common trend, I do like Ralph Lauren. We've got Ralph tracksuit, we've got this, the hooded one. I wear that bare. Then, these tracksuits, which you lot thought were Prada on my Insta, but they're not there. The Yuns again, or Yons, however you pronounce it. Yeah, I've got the blue one as well. Blue night jacket, this is stuff I don't even wear anymore. Look, Ralph top from years ago, it's an extra small. Um, another Ralph top. This, yeah? This is one of my hardest polos I've bought. I worn it about twice, and my dad shrunk it in the wash. And he done the same to my brother as well. My brother had a Da Vinci jumper, and he shrunk it in the wash. How much wear this now? <laughs> Bruh, what the f so bad. So he ruined it and I told him about it and he said well, we shouldn't have put it in a washing basket in. Cause that's my fault, innit? We're going to trainers. Now there's only one pair of trainers I really wear. Um, all round, gun and everything. And that's these. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah hey, bro, I don't wear them. We got, um, start off with these. These are pretty much my most common trainers that I wore. Right, all my trainers are busted as well. All my trainers are busted cause I wear them raving or, or somewhere and I'm just can't move the team. But these are probably the most, these have had, had a good day. Then lubes, if you ain't got lubes before, don't grab lubes, they're so uncomfortable. Just these white lubes ones, I don't think. And these, these are my favourite shoes in a minute. These are cold, these are in good nick, I know they got a bit of mud there and that, but these are in good nick still. These Montclair runners, they're so uncomfortable, it's a joke. Like they give me so many blisters and that, so I don't really wear them. Um, just, I'm um, reacts. But these Valentinos over here, I don't know why the laces ain't in them. I think they're in the wash or something, I don't know. Some odd boots. Then we got these, what are these called again? Visions, isn't it? Reacts. React, yeah, React Visions though, isn't it? Uh, then obviously we got the AF ones. These, 
Night Air Max, and then these, yeah, so busted. And here is the hat drawer. I like a hat, if you didn't, if you didn't notice, I like a Larry colored hat, yeah? And obviously there's, there's wigs in here and all. This is basically just, just, I don't wanna know, I don't wanna know what you get on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then this drawer is, this is just all sports stuff, like, I like a Nike, I like a Nike, uh, what are they called? Tech fit. Tech fit thing, yeah. Tech, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got bare colours of these, got this one, I, like, I think some of them are in the wash. Then we've got, we've got a prison tracksuit, prison outfit, these are Arnie tracksuits. Bare plain, but it's just hard. So, like, it's, all it has is that in the back. Yeah, Arnie, if you want to sponsor me, yeah, you want to give, give me some stuff, you're more than welcome. And this is all stuff I just don't wear, like, like just t-shirts and this is, this is just a drawer for old stuff or like, yeah, just like casual t-shirts and like a, like a Ralph top in it. Louis scarf, Prada beanie, I wear this quite a lot. Louis messenger bag, uh, and we've got a North Face, Yilly World, rain jacket, and then Montclair Meyer, Montclair tracksuit jacket, Unico jacket, this is hard, to be fair. Unico done their thing with this, look how this fits. Hard coat. Hard jacket, Unico as well. But, um, yeah, that's the finally, I've done a wardrobe tour. Been asked to do a your wardrobe tour for about four years, and I never wanted to do it because it comes across vain and egotistical, like I'm rubbing people's faces, but you lot have asked for it, so I thought, that's why I bring it to you lot and everyone else does it nowadays, so yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. Let's see if we can smash 30,000 likes. Obviously, the merch. If you ain't got yourself some merch, go grab yourself some because it's lovely. And uh, yeah, you do me a favour. <laughs> Subscribe today to join the Kids Army. And uh, yeah, goodbye.